sure why I just walked around that way. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to another gear review episode. Today is gonna be all about macro, and specifically macro on the phone, and more specifically, macro with the moment. Ha. So macro is definitely one of my favorite types of photography, and I have the bigger macro setups, of course, on the DSLRs, but uh, the sucky thing about that is I don't always have them around, and being able to have an entire macro setup like this, in your phone, like in your in your pocket, with your phone, yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is much, much more handy for just out and about kind of stuff. And this thing is, I've been testing it for a little while and I am quite surprised so far. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys. So the first thing I love about the Moment lenses is that they're all just built like a tank. This thing, even though it's way tinier than the other Moment lenses that I have, it's still the same solid metal construction and it just feels great. Uh, the addition of this hood for the macro is fantastic. It's a diffuser hood, so what I like to do is there's two good reasons why we have this and why they included it. And the first is it's a diffuser hood, so it makes the even lighting. But the second and most important thing is the hood is actually the physical minimum focus distance to let you know the minimum focus distance. So you know that you can put it right up to something like that and you'll be at the perfect minimum focus distance for whatever it is is there and you can take this hood off so the other thing I like about this hood is that it is removable it does take a little bit of effort and twisting though and that's probably a good thing there's no actual connecty bits to like click or unscrew or you know unclamp or anything like that it's just like a really hard felted uh, plastic and it fits into this groove very nicely so I like that you can remove that if you don't need it if you're in super bright conditions like this or if you just uh, just don't need it or want it for whatever reason. Yeah, or if you just want the lens cap on, which it did come with. Um, I didn't keep it in the bag because I've just been keeping the hood on. So that's been kind of handy. It's got the same great quick connection on the back as all the other Moment lenses and I haven't had any problems. I've had people ask me about the overall wear and tear of this clippy part on the back in con in conjunction with uh, the cases. And so far on the both of the cases that I have for these, um, both of my phones, it's been holding up really well. I haven't had any issues there. So the one thing to keep in mind uh, with the macro lens on there though is that you can't use it like a regular lens because the, the focus distance and the way the macro is, you're gonna have to be super close to your subject. So if you just want, if you're thinking, well, this says 10 times on it, you know, that I could maybe get a zoom out of it. No, it's not gonna work that way. So you're gonna wanna get the telephoto lens if you want that and just be really close to your subject for this. So real quick, I'm gonna give you guys just a quick tip before we go do our walk around and take some photos and stuff with the macro. And this goes with any type of macro photography. With macro photography, you're really working with very shallow depths of field here. So a lot of stuff in your image is going to be out of focus. And the best way to deal with that is to move the phone back and forth and rock it versus a lot of people would think that you might set up a tripod and then change the focus, you know, focus shift. But when you do that, you're actually changing the uh, focal length. And then that can make it harder to put pictures together if you're gonna focus stack in the future. So rocking back and forth does not change the actual focal length and then taking those pictures in burst mode or just take a picture here, back up a little bit, take a picture, take a picture. Then you can focus stack those a lot better. So the tip is just rock back and forth until you get this exact spot that you want in focus and then lock it down either on a tripod or stay real steady or whatever. So that's my tip. Uh, so now let's, before it gets too dark, we're about to lose the sunlight here. Let's go walk around and grab a few more images and then we'll go from there.
didn't have time to set up a tripod or anything like that, but I wanted to give you guys a couple tips, a couple more tips real quick for macro photography in general, but definitely with this thing. So like I mentioned before, you can use, if you have the telephoto ability, uh, or if you zoom in or whatever and you get that that much closer you're going to introduce a lot of shake and even if you're a real steady guy or a real steady gal or a real steady person uh, you can still have a lot of shake with that magnification so a tripod can be handy or just be as still as you possible practice your yogic breathing all of that good stuff uh, the next thing is light you're going to want a lot of light macro photography requires a lot of light because you're close up to a subject this diffuser is nice because it will diffuse the light and make it softer so what i like to do is just turn the flash on sometimes with the phone uh, and then the flash will bounce into the diffuser and then that helps a lot so experiment with that if you are losing light or if you're indoors or whatever and you just don't have an external light just play with that just keep in mind you have your flash option so i think those are the only other two tips i wanted to real quickly go over uh real steady use your tripod lots of light so if you guys have any questions about the moment lens about the macro or about macro photography in general leave those in the comments below and i'll definitely answer them if you want to check this out i've got the link for it in the description below as well as the tripod and lights and all the gear that i use for my phone photography all of those stuff are in the links below so if you haven't already definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel i've got new videos every tuesday and friday hit that like button if this video helped you out thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one